Here we see receiver Quan Shorts coming off a career high 12 catch performance at UT Martin last Thursday. Quan, we can talk about you for a little while. Obviously, big first half. What were you and Shelton doing that got you so in sync? Um, it, we were just in a good rhythm. Uh, the O line, they, they were blocking tremendously. Uh, uh, Epp was putting the ball in the right spots, and our offense was just working on all cylinders. And uh, you see how deadly we can be when we're all on the same page and everybody's doing the correct things. Uh, practice, uh, fall camp, we just got that connection, and it's just leading into the season. You changed your number this year. I think everyone that watched this program last year saw number one and saw Jazz Ferguson. Did you take that? You know, it kind of started tradition, or was it something you felt maybe that would challenge yourself? Um, I wore number one all my life, and uh, when I actually when I got here last year, I wanted to get number one, but I didn't know Jazz had it. But uh, of course, you see what Jazz did in that number and, and the greatness he did last year, and I just wanted to follow what he did last year. So I figured wearing the number and being in the position would give me a good opportunity to do that. So. You've been here, you saw what this wide receiver group went through, you know, from last year through spring, through fall camp, and uh, everyone that looked at the Demons looked and said, well, what, what's this group going to be? I think we saw that seven guys made their first career catch mm -hmm. on Thursday night. I'm sure none of that surprised you at all. Yeah, uh, I've been here, yeah, the spring and fall camp, I've seen those guys make plays time after time. Uh, Coach Slaughter always says the standard is the standard, which means we're receivers. We catch the ball. We make plays. That's what we do. That's our job. And uh, yeah, I've seen those guys make plays all the time. So when, when I saw it in live action, it was, I was happy for them, but it wasn't a surprise to me. Kind of the same thing with the tight ends? Well, that was kind of different uh, because, I mean, we've seen the tight ends in practice make plays and everything, but seeing it in a game and see how it went with our offense, it was great to see because last year we maybe had two or three plays that we hit with the tight end and seeing Corey run down the field and catching seam routes, it was great to see. So, yeah, I love that. From a receiver standpoint, how much does that open things up for you guys? A lot, a lot. Corey is fast and physical and he's big and um, the safeties now have to look at him. Those backers now have to look at him. So me and the inside receiver right next to him, it just opens up more outside also. So it's a good thing. Really good first half for you guys. Not quite as smooth as second half. Where does this team, and maybe from your standpoint, the offense take the biggest steps from week one to week two? Um, it, it's a four-quarter game, so we have to finish games. Uh, last year, we started out hot a lot, but every time teams adjusted, we never adjusted. So we just have to find a way to adjust and keep running our offense fluently. But I guess from this week, well, from last week to this week, we just have to play a full game, a full four quarters, and try to get the job done. Same question, but focus on you. Where does Quan Shorts improve from week one to week two? I just want to get better every week, um, making plays, catching touchdowns, blocking for the running backs. I just want to do anything I can to help this team. I don't care about the stats. I don't care about how good I look on the field. I just want to win. So whatever I have to do to make that happen, that's what I'll do. All right, Quan, thanks so much. Yes, sir.